is going on guys just ran with it here I'm back for another video and today guys we're just we're just chilling out we got a little garden update to do because it's been a while and a lot has changed over here so this morning I've got one of my purple basils that I, I've neglected and I'm just I'm just I'm just transplanting it giving it a, an up pot so hopefully this will take off we kind of ran out of room in the garden so I'm trying to make the best of space at this point but check this out we still got a whole bunch of other stuff that's got to either go in bigger pots or in the ground. Some stuff that's just over here doing its thing and it'll just stay like this. And then we got the main garden over here. So I got to give that a good water in. But look at this man, Shell's been crushing it over here. So we got we to gotta transplant some stuff this morning. Figure I'll hit you guys with a quick update. Look at these things. These were my peppers, guys. My peppers that were inside. Look at them, they're just chilling, man. Got some eggplant. Some more peppers down here. Arugula. This thing's starting to flower. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just top this thing and see if this will just keep going. Got a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of herbs. Look at this guy. It's getting huge. We have a lot of tomatoes, cucumbers. These guys, I gotta feed. I gotta get them some food. These guys get some water. This is just a whole bunch of flowers. And I'm pretty sure we got pumpkins in here. All right, guys. So back to the task at hand, though. I definitely got to get some more stuff up potted. So we're going to take this guy out. We'll get this guy going. So I'm using these fabric pots. I like these things, especially like, especially for if you, if you experience overwatering. Kind of a pain in the ass, so you gotta get some soil in them, but they drain really well. Just gonna get this thing shaped real quick. Got a nice pocket in there. Let's go get our plant. All right, guys, so we got our parsley. To get a little bit more of a space. We are gonna be using a little bit of this mycos in here. This helps for uh, just the roots. Got a lot of good stuff in here, man. Use this during transplant. You see some, you see some crazy growth. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this guy out. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Let's see. Oh, how do we do this? All right, got it upside down. Got our roots over here. Yeah, this thing needs to be up potted, and this thing is gonna blow up. Place them in here. All right, we're just gonna fill this up real quick. Try to save these guys. I'm 
I got a handle in here. All right, guys. So that's all done. This thing is up potted, ready to go. I'll probably compact it down, add a little bit more soil, but you don't want to push this down. You, you just want to let it do its thing. I would say water it in, see how it is, and you can always add more. But now this thing, this thing's ready to do some crazy shit. All right, guys, then I think what I'm gonna do too is this time I'm gonna be using a much bigger pot. So I'm gonna be using, what is this guy? This is a five gallon. So I'm gonna fill this sucker up and I'm gonna be using this for my, uh, for my mint over here because this thing is pretty damn big and it's in a pretty small pot so this being in here is, is a pretty good size I would say and this is going to allow this thing to take off and really get big because this I believe is some spearmint and it's doing pretty good but it could be it could be doing better and you can see that there's a lot of yellowing in here so I gotta I gotta pull all this out she needs to get in a bigger pot and then she's gonna blow up all right, so this one I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a little bit differently. I'm gonna be using more of this to start in the bottom, but I'm still gonna be adding some of this in here because if you could see, this doesn't have a lot of like aeration in there, so I should be ex actually mixing more like perlite into this. But because my mix has some, I'm just gonna kind of kind of do this. And so I'll make a blend. But you want to make sure when you're using these things that you have good drainage, because if the soil clumps up, it's just gonna be a nightmare for your root system. I'm gonna kind of get this blend going and we back once we're ready to get the mint into there all right so we got a pretty good base in here I'm happy with the way the soil looks and this should have enough room that I can just plop this in and then just fill this in and then this will be its final final resting place for it at least for now until I get some more room so I'm gonna I'm gonna need two hands for this guy so I'm gonna put the camera down real quick get this thing out of the pot and then get this ready. But we also got to throw a little bit of mycos in there too. Don't tell Shell I'm stealing her stuff. Sorry guys, this is the, the ghetto productions right here. I think we're good for a second. Right, so I got this guy. Don't move camera. This one I kind of go, gotta go a little deeper into. But same technique, just work from the bottom, flip it up. You got your root system down there. All right, we're going into this pot. And there she is, she's in there. So I'm gonna just fill this in we got all that to work with all right so I'm just still filling this in working my way around the pot just throwing in some soil and pushing it down in there I need both ends for this I think But just get good coverage around the whole entire thing. Get the root system covered. Get a nice like top layer in there. Don't push down too hard. But yeah, let everything just like settle in. So I'm gonna work the soil around this and move back once she's all set. All right guys, and we are done. She's all transplanted in there. We got our parsley and we got our purple basil. So I'm gonna move these guys in the garden because that was the whole point of this. So this way I can just like utilize some more space and hopefully my dogs won't <laughs> get to these guys and step on them or pee on them. But yeah, let's go throw them in the garden real quick. All right, guys, so they're just chilling out in the garden and this is where they're gonna just stay for now, I guess. And we're still utilizing more space behind this fence over here. And these guys have been up potted, so we're still gonna get some good, uh, good, good herbs out of these guys. You know, there's still a lot of time for them to grow and pick up, but I felt like if I just left them there, they, they kind of would have just done their thing and just never got bigger that purple basil this is gonna look cool i'll probably upplant that one again but guys i gotta go get some watering in and uh take care of the garden stuff but as always thank you guys for stopping on over here and i'll see y'all soon and huge shout out to shell man because she's been she's been on this shit man <laughs> peace
Thank you.